Right, very good morning to you. And I know it's morning and we're back to the good old tricks, early mornings and playing with radios. And today I've been challenged to do something slightly different to my normal video. And the challenge has been set by Sean over at the Man Cave Workshop. And he has said to me, George, you do lots of highly edited videos. Why don't you do one straight through with no cuts? And I thought to myself, hmm, how am I going to do that? And in the end, I've decided this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to have the forward facing camera on the entire time, but I will be switching between the other cameras that are running around the set. So what have we got here? Now, as part of the challenge, Sean sent me a radio and here it is on the bench. It is a Hacker Hunter VHF model RP38A. And in his own words, this one is a dog. It's thrown together and it's barely alive. He said, give me your impressions of it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give the impressions of this radio. Now, here it is on the bench. It's a small, compact, 70s style transistor radio. Real wood on the sides. Um, I tip it this way. A bit battered on the front. Nice leatherette type Rexine cloth on the front and on the base. Um, couple of screws on the base no feet on this particular radio okay so it it rests on these wooden edges so that's why they're scratched let's go to the back the back of the set has what I can only imagine to be a grill missing um, this is a name he gave the set uh, let's have a look what else can we say about it um, there's an external power jack and looks like a headphone socket on this side we have an external antenna socket uh, yeah it, it, it is battered uh, let's just have a quick look um, oh right okay the I'm gonna tip this towards one of these cameras the volume not the volume, the tuning control is working by the feel of it, but there's no dial cord or pointer fitted, so that's an issue. Um, either the shaft of the volume pot or the, or the actual uh, pot itself is, the, the actual uh, knob itself is bent, but yeah, it's it's not... It's not running straight and true. It looks more like a, yeah, yeah. Um, it's got a ding in it, so I would guess that the actual shaft of the pot is bent. So let's open the back up and see what it does. Now there are no visible catches or anything like that. So I'm guessing, yep, it pulls apart. Uh, and you have, a rubber, well, a plastic stud here, and another one here. I guess let's see where they line up. They would be to hold the batteries in. So let's put that just to the side for the moment. Let's tip the set over almost onto its front using the handles to hold it in place. Right, there's a wire off on the external antenna connector. Uh, there's the battery wires. Here is the... Right, you have a separate amplifier board to the radio section. Um, let's have a look what else can I see in here. Um, apart from that... it. Ah, right, hold on. Yeah, right, OK, so the speaker is rattling loose in the case. It's an original Goodman's. And... I've got to say, I've heard that there are two different types and the ELAC is actually a slightly better speaker, but 
I've been told to give this one a go and see what it what it sounds like. So I think at this point I'm just going to run the setup and we'll see what it sounds like. Do a couple of basic tests now. What is this? This is right. This is an audio amplifier down at the bottom of the board here. So that run, yes. Yeah, so that's completely separate. The wires are tacked onto the speaker. So at least I know they're connected. Let's just see um, what we got here. Right. So that's let's pull one out that way. Right, speaker wires, right, that goes to that jack there, the headphones, and that, yeah, right, okay. So yeah, we're going to power this up. Now this particular set runs on 18 volts in series, so two 9 volt batteries in series, and these are the old PP9 batteries. Um, let's just check that these are wired correctly. Oh, right, okay. We have... A twisted together pair of wires is the other one the same yes the other one is the same so I'll be aware of that okay so if these are in series let's follow the wire through so red is one side black is the other side okay so let's Connect these two together on the power supply and switch it on and it goes into current limiting. Let's just make sure, right, it's set to 200 milliamps, good enough. Let's just check the voltage, right, let's take it up to 18 volts. Right, so 18 volts there and we said negative this side so why am I putting the positive lead there because I'm an idiot so negative lead is there positive lead can go on that Nelson and New Zealand where we join right so we are getting the working set there I'm going to turn that up. Now, obviously, there's nothing to see on the top because it's... Caps, 149 for four in the 17th over. Jimmy Neesham, who batted so well in the last game at Wellington, is on eight. And a highly experienced Ross Taylor is not out on 27. England's bowling, well, not too bad so far. Uh, Curran, two for 20 from three overs. Sam Curran, uh, his brother, three overs for 22. Mahmoud... Right, so looking at that, the his three overs, Pat Brown, one for twenty six, and that fantastic effort from Matt Parkinson. Treble seems to put Bright in and one base. Fourteen, including that wicket in his first over in international cricket with England. Yeah, very important. Those controls are working fine. Exclusive all rounder for New Zealand, fifty five from thirty four um, fours, five fours. See if we can get anything on long wave. So yes, it's receiving on long wave, so we know that works. Let's go FM. Um, that's one thing I have to check. Let's put this aerial up. Now this is an incredibly large aerial for a set, but uh, looks fairly straight. Okay, the set on receive on low level is currently running about 20 milliamps, which is quite a low current consumption. It sounds nice and clear, but we're right on the bottom of the volume. Now what I want to try and do is I want to try and find a speech station. Right. 
Princess Marie Yovanovitch, the lifetime career diplomat who was ambassador to Ukraine. On hearing that she might be in danger, the advice from Gordon Sondland, a friend of the president, who was a political appointee to the ambassador to the European Union, was... Right, so I am peaking at around 60 to 70 milliamps Another long on maximum volume. Right. On full volume, 160 milliamps, and incredible amount of distortion, which isn't very pleasant. But uh, on a low level, the set's perfectly acceptable. OK, um, so let's just turn it off. Put the aerial down because otherwise I'll poke my eye out. Um, yeah, what do I think? Right, well, as it stands, this set needs some work. It needs. Uh, what does it need? It needs, first of all, that control straightening. It needs um, a speaker mounting in properly just to stop it rattling. Um, I'd like to check these electrolytics because they're getting on a bit. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can spot any date codes on any of this. And can I, can't I? Not really. Um, everything itself actually looks fairly clean. It's... Yeah. Um, yeah, really, just to sort out this volume on-off control. Fix the speaker in and just dial cord. Dial cord, most important job. So you can actually see where you're tuning. So that's the first impression. This is part one. There will be probably two, maybe three parts of this little series, depending on how far I want to take this set. Unless I spend some money, and I mean some money, and try and locate some old bits, I don't know how much of a restore this is going to get, but electrically it will be fine. Now, whether I change components because of leaky capacitors or aging capacitors even if resistors have gone out tolerance I'll, I'll have a look at it all and we'll do the electrical diagnosis in the next part so here's the overview hopefully Sean uh, this is just what you uh, thought it would be and there's the overview if anybody would like to check out the man cave workshop by all means I'll put a link in the description. I shall also put a card in the top. Well, oh, there, there, somewhere. But yeah, here is the Hacker Hunter VHF RP38A first impression. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, click like, click subscribe. If you do that, you'll actually see part two come up in your notifications. If you don't, then you'll just have to guess when it comes out. Until the next time. Wish you all the best and thanks very much for tuning in. Bye for now.